Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dork's Dally. The sword is here. Dork's Dally. Here it is. Here it comes. Coming right at you. So important. You might want to don't, must stay. This is very important. Let's do our intro. Hello, this is Dork's Dally. We're here to talk about three things that happened in cruise news in the last 48 hours or so. Hello. Hello, everybody. Listen, we just got off the beach, what, like an hour ago? An hour ago. On the beach an hour, hour ago. It was gorgeous down there today, by the way. Beautiful day. We're off on Mondays, so. So we can go early. Yes. You know, I have to get my drink. We're going to get a drink. My yes drink. way. This is really rough news. And honestly, like, I started this the other day, so I'm doing good. This is groundbreaking, right? so we go. <laughs> Guys, I'm doing my ritual. Oh, Ciroc didn't hold up so good last night, but they're, they're, that's the No, one. it wasn't the Ciroc. It was the, the, the Patron uh, Reposado. Patron Reposado. Poor thing. Well, the Patron Reposado, well, I mean, I'm going to be honest. We might have put a hurting on that bottle. Okay? A hurting on that bottle. Really? It needs a refill. My glass. Is okay. Right. It needs a refill. I feel much But more anyway, guys, I don't know. I've been having a dilemma all day. I'm trying to book this Utopia of the Seas first sailing out of Fort Canaveral. Utopia of the Seas. It just got to it just got delivered to France, I believe. That's what the word on the street says. That's it right. It just got delivered to France. So delivered. <laughs> In a package. And it's it coming package. here. For the inaugural sailing on July 19th, wow. 2024, wow. this year. I want to go. We've never been on an inaugural Do you want to go? You don't even care. No, I do want to go. What kind of cruise dork are you? I'm a dork. I'm, Obviously I'm not. I'm not doing my homework. I already, know like, a lot I, about, I already know a lot about this cruise ship. I know a lot okay, about the well, restaurants. Okay, well, guys, I want to go on the sailing. It's going to be amazing. It's the first sailing, and it's out of here. All these first sailings are usually out of somewhere else. Right. Right? But no, it's out of here. A few here though. They I know, but this is a three nighter. It it's like doable. It is. So, anyway, guys, I'm excited, even though I didn't book it, but I want to. Yeah, she's so thinking about it. What do you think, guys? We may or may not book it. So, that's like news so in expensive. itself. So expensive. Well, it is. It's a little pricey. All right, so what else? But I feel like that's news in that itself. That is news. It's just dork news. That's like really okay. crazy dork news. We talked about yeah. it last night. But some of you might not have seen it. So it's still on like the table. Yes. Okay. On the table. And speaking of Royal Caribbean, we just heard today that, um, what is it? The June 23rd sailing on the Brilliance of the Seas. Yes. Oh my God, guys. Another overbooking situation. Overbooked again. They're offering people oh like deals for future cruises and stuff. I just don't just understand to get them how you off. do that. Okay. How does that happen? I don't know. How does that happen? I don't know, but listen, if you say we're booked, right? Say for instance, we booked this Utopia, okay? And I booked it today, and tomorrow, they're like, someone's got a staple gun. Please don't work. Someone's doing work, that's news. That's cruise news. Staple gun, is that a staple, staple gun? gun news. Yeah. It sounds like, like an yeah, industrial they're one, like. They're hammering a sta I'm scared. It's like a floor layer would use that. So they overbooked. Yes, they overbooked the Brilliance of the Seas. Crazy. Yes, so they're offering people all kinds of deals for future cruises. Yeah. What would you do, like I was saying, if we booked this uh, Utopia mm -hmm. and... They overbooked. They were offering us, like, you can't go, but we're going to offer you, like, the same price minus, like, 25%. Because you know they're not going to do too much. I might do it. For, for a future cruise. Well, we'd be able to do it, but here's the thing. A lot of people don't live in Florida, so they can't just pick up and go. So yeah, let's like, say what you if live you booked your flights ahead of time? Yeah, and what if your job, like, I've never really worked at a normal job where I could just take a vacation when I wanted to. Uh -uh. Like, I had no vacation time, ever. I feel like you need to do better, Royal. Yeah, that's not good. That's, that's on. You that's can't overbook. Cool. It's not and how do you do it though? I just don't understand how the the rooms I don't line up. Like either. I, I want room forty seven, thirty two. Because I've here's looked through thinking. rooms and it just says none. Yeah, what I'm thinking is, let's say forty seven, thirty two is in question. Okay? okay. All of a sudden, five, fifteen people get online at the same time, which there's millions, billions of people in the world, and all of a sudden, all of them, all four, book at the same exact time. It could be is possible. That what's happening? 
It could be possible. I hope that's Like, happen. say, I booked this Utopian. We're just going to keep going with that. Yeah. Um, I booked this Utopia, and at the same exact time, somebody else books the same room I do. What if they do? Yeah, saying. no, so I think, yes. What do you think? I would take the offer, but I that's because we live offer. here. We live here. But if I lived up there, I'd be really, I'd really be off, I'd be like, yeah. well, are you also going to refund my airfare that's not refundable? Like, what's yeah. going to happen with that? Well, it you would know. be a problem, though. But what if you, like, so had a regular job better. at, like, UPS? God. You can just work at it's UPS or, like, you work at, you know, a normal office. You have a scheduled job. You took your yeah. vacation time. And you're like... People get vacation... Do you know some people that like, work You're like, yo, Lumberg, I, I can work this week, but I'm going to need two yeah. months from now. Who's going to do the TPS reports? Yeah, what's like, Lumberg going to say? Honestly. Uh, we're going to have to ask honestly. you. That, so that's a shame. It that's is a shame. big news in my so opinion. So to me, it's big news for news. all these individuals that have got asked to totally ruin their vacation... Just because of a computer glitch or human error or whatever it is. Or just some bullshit. How about this? Some if BS, you're one of the people that okay? got, got this, let us know in the bottom. Yes. If let you've us ever know. been through this situation, Have you ever been, we like, want to know. Bumped. Bumped. That's what I'm yeah. going to say. You, you got bumped. In the message area, get in there and just type, say, like, yeah, it happened to me. I got bumped. Yeah. Like, we went on a cruise that went nowhere, if that means anything. That's not like getting bumped. No, like. but this is like. You're all excited. You got your countdown going, and they're like, "Hey, um, fourteen other people have the same room as you on the same week, so you got to go." Yeah, you're. <laughs> yeah, and who do they pick? This? I think. Would you do? What, Listen, it would just be like what I did when the boys, when the college boys, the members, college hunks, college hunks who Michelle hired to move. That's so weird, I mean, by the way. Come on, ladies, it's I mean, a no-brainer. You're picking that? a company. A college college hunks. hunks jumps out of you. You're like, like let's pick. Every dude's got to be like, uh, we got another creepy lady on our hands. All right, anyway, so she hired the college honks. College honks call her and say... It was moving day. Sorry, ma'am. We got other people we have to do. You got bumped. Listen, we were making settlement that day real quick, and they called me in the morning, and they were like, oh, uh, yeah, hi, I'm sorry. We're not going to be able to come today because we have someone else. And she was so confident. So we're going to come tomorrow. And you know what I told him? No. Okay, this is exactly what I tell someone at Royal. I said, do you know how you just made this phone call to me? He was like, yes. I'm like, you're going to do the same thing to somebody else, and you're coming to my house today. That's what I told That's him. And said. you know what he said? He said, okay, ma'am. And guess what? They right, came to our house, okay. and somebody she else won. got bumped. She All right? won. I won. It was, a, won. it was a dub for me. Oh, man, they called some poor old okay. disappointed lady who was sitting there with a bottle of Yes Way Rosé. Listen. Just waiting for the college hunks to show up in her lingerie. And they were like, ma'am, look, we can't come today. She's like, what? I'm like, you're coming to my yeah. house. You're going to call somebody else just like you yeah, called me. And let's it worked. Go. And they came over. They so did. it's a good strategy. It's a tip. A good life shot. tip. A life tip. Okay. Don't take no for an answer. No. No. If they can do it. Where there's yeah, a will, no. there's a will. I don't buy that. Well, maybe they are both. But the squeaky wheel like, definitely gets the most oil. So if I was you, when someone called from Royal, one of those people's getting to keep the room. Yeah. Right? Only gonna keep it. Somebody in that is whole overbooking. Or is it going to be them? Is it going to be you or them? Like, you decide. I always call it weird scenarios. I'm like, okay, say you book that cruise and they message you and say, we'll give you $1,000, um, but you have to go to an inside room. Are you cool with going to an inside room on the utopia of the seas? Sure. It's three nights. You'll take your G off? I would. What if 100%. they set 500 off? I would take it. What if it was $250 off? No, I want my balcony. So you don't want the balcony that bad. I do, but every everything's got a price. Okay. 500 and up, and I'm what out kind of room do we, What kind of room did you book? It's a um, ocean view balcony guarantee. Okay, what does that mean? It's a balcony a guarantee. No, oh, balcony, balcony guarantee. guarantee. Yes. Now, what do their balconies? Do they, are they roomy? Or I don't they... know. It's new. It never. No one's ever been on it. I'm so worried about this utopia. I just watched a bunch of videos of what the Wonder, which about? is Utopia's cousin sister, right? Wonder. The Wonder. Yes, it says it's sister the ship. So it should be like the same. So what are you saying? What do you guys think about that? Say in the bottom, right in the bottom, down what you think about it. There's Wait. one other thing we have to talk about. I don't even think anyone cares if they... I'd care. You care? Yes, it's very you important. You care about this? Right. Well, we heard a lot of countries in Europe are complaining 
I knew this was going about on. About the ships before. coming into port. The business obviously is booming the cruise industry, but they're like, no. Nah. Yeah, we don't want you here. No. They're claiming that we're not spending money in their countries. Yes, we're just getting there, making a mess. We're just Which making we a mess. Are. Using their trash cans, their, their trash facilities. Yes. Their bathrooms are clogging up. We're shitting up their bathrooms. We're clogging basically. toilets. We're you know, like toilet it's paper. The whole thing. Yes, it's yes. out of control. Um, so they so Greece are is Greece, one. and I heard France too. Mm -hmm. They are trying to limit the number of cruise ships that come there because they're just not having it. And you might not. I think it's for environmental it. reasons, also, but I think it's also their like. I think they'd rather have the tourists there. That aren't on cruises. Because people that are touring there are staying there to eat. Yeah. They're living there for the week. Yeah. They're going to use their amenities. They're going to go to the restaurants. I know we don't when, do I'm, that. when I'm on a cruise ship, we get out and walk around. But yeah. I genuinely don't want to go to a restaurant because I, I got a want restaurant to, on the but ship. I just don't do You're it. like, well, we just had One time I tried, they turned the me, they locked the door Remember on. Remember that me. with the pancakes? Yeah. I Where was, like, was oh, that? You don't want us to come here and eat. Where was that? That was in Aruba. Was that Curacao? Oh, no, Aruba? Curacao. Curacao? Curacao. Yes, yeah, so right. we met the guys from there that were in yes. the kids. Is that what it was? Yes. Curacao. Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. But we tried to get some pancake thing. Yo, we tried two avenues at the same restaurant. There was two doors. And they were like, Neither nope. door. They, they didn't want to serve us outside or inside. Yo, and there was other people there. They were probably. I think they, they just hated locals, us. Locals. They didn't want us there. See, sometimes people. <laughs> yo, I tell people that guys. I don't cut. I don't. I don't cut tourists. I only cut locals. Yeah. So why wouldn't other people do that? Why I, would I, I agree. be? Well, okay. And then we found out because we know a lot of boaters. We know a lot of people that are have uh, places over here, and their boats are parked at the port. Oh yes. That are very upset with our port because. They got soot all over their boats. Port Canaveral has uh, a lot of um, uh, marinas, okay, with a lot of people that keep their boats there on boat slips because so they don't have it at their house. And they said that the boats are covered, covered. With, with soot, soot. from yeah. the cruise ships. So. And now, more bad news yes. the cruise port bought up all those like p boat parking areas. Yes, so these people aren't going to get out. booted anyway. Yes, they're getting the boot. And I noticed that. Port Canaveral was like 25000 Port Canaveral was a little cheaper. We were like almost half. Yeah. So it might be a desirable port for some of the cruise lines because of that. And That's but maybe why Princess thing. is coming here, Carn uh, celebrities coming here. Yeah. Probably because of price point. They're like, you know what? This is like a good deal. If you don't know, they're building an aquarium in the port. Yeah, it's a um, good They're kicking out these, uh, they're not renewing the leases for a lot of these marinas. Yeah. So they're building um, a whole aquarium. It's going to be like, uh, it's affiliated with the Brevard Zoo, Brevard, is it Brevard? Brevard, Brevard. Brevard Zoo. Brevard. It's affiliated with them, so they're going to have this whole manatee. It could be Brevard, by the way. So let us know in the bottom, guys. Brevard, Brevard or Brevard. Brevard. Or Brevard. Whatever. What's potato, it like? potato. Potato, potato. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, so. Wait, listen. So anyway, it's going to be affiliated with the zoo, so they're going to have this whole like manatee rescue center, yes. which is going to be awesome, this whole turtle thing. It I'm is. actually excited about it. We're I want to go. It. So yeah. that's going to be like a fun attraction for people, because when you get you got the, the ship, Kennedy Space Center yeah, right you have there, that. you have that, you can go in a little helicopter ride, there's probably some oh, fishing you could do, like go out on one of the... the what do you call it? It's obviously, you can go to Disney. Yeah. You could go to the beaches, but that would be complicated. Going to Ron John's would be complicated. Yeah, you if you want to go to the beach, you have to get an Uber. Mm -hmm. And I would recommend just going right to the sandbar because it's a restaurant. There's drinks. You can get your drinks, your tacos, go right out to the beach. I be there's um, umbrellas and chairs there that you can rent. Shaw loves the sandbar. I do love the sandbar. Right, you want to go to Ron John's? Ron John's at the sandbar, guys. They go to. Coconuts, which is a little further down, which is a cool beach bar too. It's a lot further. Down. Yeah, but if you want to just a quick, just go to Sandbar. You got Ron John there. The beach is there. You can do your little photo shoot. Like I'm, I'm for it. Ron John's. Yes. So and I, Ron John's is a good store. It is a good store. I actually like yeah. it. Yeah. I just think it's expensive. It I would, is, you but know. you know what? Everything. What isn't? But quality is wise, you're getting good stuff. They have nice stuff there. I also yeah. like the what do you call it stores? If you want to, because um, they have all the hawk and the hey dudes, the um, oh the surf style. Well, surf there's a surf style, style right there too. Yeah. So for me to hit all of the bases, yeah, I say, sandbar, walk over to Ron John, go on the beach. Yeah. You'll have fun. It'll be good nice. Night. Guys, I hope you have a good night because. Yes. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes.
Hopefully. Because every night we're going to come back with this <laughs> We're going to see you tomorrow. God willing. We're going to talk about the news that we watch all day. And then we're yes. going to, because we'll we always talk, talk to ourselves Let's about it. Let's talk cruising, because me and Jim always chit chat. We're yes. going to talk to you about it. Cruising. It's going to be fabulous. Could nothing but cruising. No, no BS, okay? Well, you might hear about a little bit of yeah, our. We're all BS, actually. Let me put these back on. Because I look like you should listen to me. What are you reading? Me. I'm not reading. I read the crap. paper. I just think you listen to me when you look at me like this. And you didn't go to the school. Oh, in Tibet that I went to to learn how to use this, so don't use it. By the way, when this thing's done swimming upstream, it's going to turn into a dragon and it's going to burn Michelle. What? That's I'll it. Be, listen, I'm the queen of dragons, okay? I'll ride that thing. Let me go get my nose hair clipper. <laughs> Swinging a long drive, watch that baby go. It's out of here. Home run, Dork Stally's gone.